Have you ever wished you could have a direct conversation with a research paper? Imagine asking it different questions and getting instant and accurate answers directly from an AI tool. In today's video, I will show you exactly how to do just that with ChatPDF, a powerful AI tool that lets you dive deep into any academic research paper like never before. Whether you are a student, a researcher, or just curious about knowing the latest in the AI, I want you to stick around to see how this game-changing tool can make your study sessions smarter and faster. So without taking much of our time, let's get started. Now to access chat PDF, all you need is to come to your browser anywhere and just type in Google and you can just go ahead and search for chat PDF, just like though, so, just like so, you don't enter. And to bring you over to this very platform, you can see chatpdf.com over here. You can just click and it will bring you over to this very platform. Join millions of students, researchers and professionals to instantly answer questions and understand research with AI. Directly, you can just go ahead and drag and drop your PDF files or you can browse from your computer or from any URL where the PDF document is located. For this tutorial, we're going to directly bring in from my computer. But then let's look at some of the um, some of the things that you can do with chat PDF is it's available for students for researchers and for professionals or multi file chats if you want to do multi file chat you can create folders to organize your files and chat with multiple PDFs in one single conversation which is very good for writing papers and writing a uh, different kind of um, document th that you may have multiple documents uh, coming with it cited sources you can have your cited sources answers contain references directly on their source in the original PDF document no more flipping up pages these are very interesting things and it comes in with uh, many language you can try any language worldwide it's acceptable you can do it with any language as you can see from here so it functions more or less like the normal chat gpt but then this one is quite specific as it interacts directly with the pdf so let's start with uploading a pdf from my computer we can just say have this pdf all right so let's say i have this pdf i can just open it so let's just give it some seconds to finish the upload so you can see right now it is it has uploaded the paper from one side you can see you can always start a new chart from here and you can upgrade to plus if you're interested you can create a new folder where you can upload all of your papers very easily and then this is the paper that you're working with you can be able to see this is a chat area this is where the pondering area this is the prompting area where you can send in your prompt about this um, very paper that we're talking about so you can see it's already recognized that it is one of 24 pages this paper is uh, 24 pages in total you have option to drag and drop uh, other things from here you can search directly from the paper contents from here directly now over here you have the option to share the chart if you want to share or you can rename a particular chart if you want and you can export the chart directly to your system or reset a particular chart or delete that chart at any given point so let's start with some basic questions about this paper that you can see so let's ask it some very basic questions so the first question I have here is, can you summarize the main findings of this research paper? So let's see what it's going to do. Very fast and very, very accurate. You can see pretty fast. It has given us a summary. This research paper is a novel approach to flood modeling by coupling a, a full 2D hydrodynamic model with hydrological models. The main findings include this. These are the main findings and this is exceptionally correct, which means you don't have to flip through all the paper, all the pages to understand the equations, to understand everything, and then to get to the end of it all and try to find out the findings. You can just literally just chat with the PDF directly on your own. So you can ask it, you can be as specific as you, you want. What is the main of this paper? You can just ask and you're going to see the answer. It's pretty, pretty, very fast. The main aim of the paper is to develop and present a new coupled hydrological and hydrodynamic model, which is very, very fantastic and very correct. So let's ask some more specific questions about this paper. So let's see what methodology did the authors use in this study? So you can click and just uh, let's see. Yeah, the authors use this methodology, model development, division of computational domains, run of calculations, routine with unit hydrograph, simulations of flood events, performance and evaluation. This is exactly what 
was done in the paper i've read it complete this is marvelous i can see and you know what even marvels me the most is the speed at which it quickly interacts with the paper and gives you whatever you want directly yeah so let's let's see uh, some more so let's see this question can you explain the significance of the results discussed in the discussion section this is too, so direct so let's see this is very technical without you knowing about the paper there's no way you can answer this question and you can see it has given us exceptional uh, answers directly from the from the from the manuscript so what it's saying is and one thing that actually marvels me in this report in this response is the location of the uh, references you can see scroll to page 15 and you'll find this information scroll to page 18 you will find these some of these information scroll to page 1 to page 16 you should be able to find some things about this yeah so this is this is very interesting once you click you'll be able to scroll to that particular page and you'll be able to find those information that it has summarized directly you can see scroll to page 20 and you can find some of the answers to that you can see scroll to page one and as you click it just quickly moves to that page easily and very very fast that's one marvelous things i like about this so it's really really wonderful it's up to you to harness it to see what you can use it actually for so let's try one more thing let's upload another paper let's say we upload this um a different paper so let's give it some seconds to finish the upload. All right, and you can see right now, we're excited to share our insights with you on this same paper. So this is a different paper. I can ask the same question, for example. I can say, can you explain the significance of the result discussed on the discussion point here? You can say, just hit and enter, and it's going to give you directly um, results. You can see perfectly, and it has just given you the results accordingly. You can hit and move to the pages where those informations are contained. So this is exceptionally useful, especially for researchers and, and people who want to do um, report writing or consult different multiple documents at the same time. So let's look at, um, you can always refer back to the chat okay by just clicking you can see this is the previous chart this is the next one you can always move on and if you want to download or export this you can always come over here you can export the chart and with just one click you can see it's been an output you just have the output directly in .txt yes, you can see it you can now copy your results and paste it somewhere maybe within your word document and you can continue your further processing within it it is actually a very fantastic tool that you can always use can be very specific once you know what the pdf document is all about or you want to chat with it directly you can go ahead and, and work with it adding multiple pdfs like we've explained so let's call this um research one all right so this could be your phd project or your msc project or your grant research writing or something like that so you can see research one then you have to log in all right so you can now drag and drop multiple papers um files here you can drag and drop files in this folder uh, in the left side drag and drop files and then you can be able to chat with them directly so let's say we drag and drop these files all right so we can drag and drop these files these three files all right, so you can just go ahead and explore all other features like you can create a folder and you can add all of your you can drag and drop multiple pdf documents and you can be able to work with them or you can ask them directly this could be categorized according to the type of research you're doing maybe your msc work or a particular research project or on a particular grant you can have all your papers arranged directly in that area and then you can be able to write content directly on your own so this concludes this uh, very basic class about how to use the chat pdf the new chat gpt but then it only interacts perfectly with pdf documents i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i will look forward to seeing you in the next one bye